From Break for All to the developers and some lesser known titles like Marvin's Mittens and Star Walls comes a third person action platformer featuring a 10 story mobile pizzeria. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pizza Titan Ultra. Time to deliver a pizza ball! I spent most of my working life inside pizza places, so when I saw this game pop up on Steam, I knew I had to try it out. Pizza Titan Ultra is a third person action platformer focused on driving around a 10 foot mech through a futuristic city, fighting robots and punching pizzas through buildings along the way. There's 32 total missions spread across 8 different zones, each one with completely destructible buildings and structures. Your mech is completely customizable from its color to the absurd options you have for decor. The game's story isn't really that much of an actual story, but more of a universe. Basically a guy by the name of Mortarit created a set of loyal and determined cheese bots to run a pizzeria, and once Ultra Pizza started delivering their area, they just really couldn't compete. The mascot of the rival company, Cheeseborg, turned evil and took over the military robots that were also created by Mortarik. Now they're locked in a war to destroy the Altar Pizza mech and retake what was lost. The story isn't really the core focus of the game, but more of a general lore and a direction that the game takes in its arcade madness, which dials down a lot of its obvious cheesiness. The first thing that stuck out to me was the game's aesthetic. It has a 90s cyberpunkish Saturday morning cartoon slash comic book vibe that I honestly don't see a whole lot. The only game I can really think of that looks similar is Beautiful Joe from back in 2004. I think it meshes really well for the overall tone that they're trying to aim for. Working in a pizza place isn't that serious of a business. No! and the art style of the game really fits that laid back atmosphere. It's vibrant, it's exciting, it's absurd, and it's perfect for this game. When you throw in the awesome upbeat soundtrack and the 80s and 90s pop culture references in the game, you end up with a pretty complete package. Pizza Titan Ultra's gameplay loop is also pretty fun. You crash around a futuristic city completing a set of random objectives for a creative ensemble of cast like Ross Roberts to earn money for upgrades and unlock new areas. There's missions where you have to complete certain objectives like collect a certain amount of cash or destroy enough of the city, but there's also a free delivery mode in each region that lets you collect as much money as you can before your time runs out. There's a little bit of story elements that show up in the gameplay, but they're more of a background that the arcade plays in. The only downside to the gameplay is its repetitiveness and ability to only occupy a single dimension. The specific objectives differ from mission to mission, but after a while it feels like you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again. Luckily each chapter is short enough, usually only lasting about four missions per area, that you really don't have to stay in the same place for too long, and the areas are varied enough that you have to change up your play style a little bit to succeed. Plus the upgrade system is a little too simplistic. Basically you use the money from completed missions to buy parts and once you have enough parts you get to unlock new mech abilities. For the most part that's fine, however the problem is that you have to pretty much unlock every type of detail to get the upgrades, even if you really don't want them. I'm the kind of person that really likes to find their combo and stick with it and I really don't like to be forced to switch it up, at least temporarily to receive upgrades. It'd be nice to see actual abilities and cosmetics be upgraded separately so you'd have to choose between purchasing each one and you'd be able to kind of stick with a single setup without having to mess with it all to get the upgrades. You don't have to keep them equipped with the game switches out when you buy them which gets a little annoying. Still it doesn't really detract from the enjoyment of the game because at its core Pizza Titan Ultra is more of a disconnected arcade game and play style so upgrades and such aren't really a core element. Overall I think Pizza Titan Ultra is a great game to kill a few hours with. If you're looking for something with hundreds of hours of content you're probably in the wrong place. You could realistically beat the entire game with six hours but with free deliveries which have different score goals to beat it gives you enough replayability to stretch that out a little bit longer. At the same time each mission only lasts between five and fifteen minutes so it's a great game to pick up if you just need something to occupy your mind for a short time. The game's art style and soundtrack alone is unique enough to make this game stand out against most third person action platformers and the concept alone is something that I honestly love. The gameplay is simple enough to make it easy to pick up, has enough challenges to keep you playing, and is varied enough to keep the basic gameplay loop from getting stale. If you're looking to kill some time and have fun in a crazy world, then Pizza Titan Ultra is a good game for you. Go and check it out. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this video helps. If it did, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see some more, subscribe to my channel and tell me what you want to see in the comment section below. But I'm back again and I have some plans for a couple major videos closer to the quality of the Ouya video. Thank you guys for sticking around through all of this and getting us to almost 500 subs. I think we gained like 80 subs this month, which is insane compared to our normal growth, which is usually about like 30 or 40. I'm trying to get to a thousand so we can get ads back because I'm working part time and going to school right now. And that extra little bit a month makes covering the cost of games and equipment a lot easier. So here's to that and hopefully a great future. See you guys in the next video. Peace.